Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Superman, Leviathan Rising. This is a one shot and it's $10. That's right, I said 10 freaking dollars. Is it worth it? Yeah, it actually is. Um, am I, am I, am I, I love what they're doing with these back covers also. Uh, I got a whole lot to say about it, and this isn't perfect, but it's, it's really good. This is a solid story. All right, let's get moving on. Uh, writers, Brian Michael Bendis, Greg Rucka, Matt Fraction, Mark and Draco. Artists, Yannick Paquette, uh, Mike Perkins, Steve Lieber, Eduardo Pancisa, sorry if I butchered your name, brother, and uh, Julio Ferreira. Colors, Nathan Fairbairn, Paul Mounts, there you go, baby, uh, VCO uh, Placencia, and letters, Dave Sharp, Simon Boland, Clayton Cowles, Tom Napolitano, and ALW's A Larger World's Troy Pateri. I have never seen so many writers on a single story. Um, and it technically is a single story, but I'll get more to that in, in a moment. The cover is by Paquette and Fairbairn. All right. Uh, and of course, Superman was created by Jerry Siegel and Joe Schuster, mother fat heads. So um, there are a couple different stories in here. They all relate to each other. Please make sure you read this entire book. The Supergirl story seems to be the least important here. That's okay, because I kind of didn't want to read the Jimmy Olsen story. I am so glad I decided to read the Jimmy Olsen story, because it is crucial to the understanding of the Superman story. By the way, the Superman story continues at the end of this book. This is masterful. The way that all these guys came together, all these people came together and made this amazing book, masterful masterful like they could hold a ted talks about this issue alone god forbid what they could do they could hold a master class you know what i'm saying with uh uh with all these people when the when the entire leviathan rises event is finished um i'm, I'm positive it's just based on this first issue this is solid then again i gotta admit i was also really hot for brian michael bendis's man of steel for a while because they were promising some good stuff was coming up. Now, all that stuff is supposed to... We're finally supposed to get some kind of... I don't know about closure. But we're going to finally figure out what's going on in Superman in um, the next month. So, uh, this is May. So, June. So, the June solicits for Superman. We're supposed to finally figure out what the hell is going on with the whole... Um, whatever. The, the the main bad guy thing. The big Rogal Zar guy. Um, anyway, this is about this book. Um... Uh, Clark Kent allowing himself to be captured and then getting himself into trouble that he got into. Just perfect. That is perfect. Um, seeing Lois Lane treated like a serious character for once. It's about damn time. You know, you, you go and check out my, uh, my interview that I did. The, um, uh, what do you call it? I, I don't even care where it is, but most, it, it, whether you're going to look at the panel with Jim Shooter or the in, the private interview that I had with Jim Shooter, uh, the exclusive interview, either way, he's going to talk to you about what Superman was back in the day. Same old damn stories always being told. What was it? Issue number 662, I think it was, if, I'm, if my memory's correct, or at least close to correct, um, when Lois Lane finally discovered Superman's identity. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's like, Comic books, Superman comic books have been so much better since that happened, haven't they? Right or wrong, right? So, um, so, uh, for, for a while there, Lois Lane was starting to feel a whole lot like that, you know, Lewis, Lois Lane from back in the day where, oh, I gotta figure out who Superman is. I'm the greatest reporter ever. I gotta figure out who Superman is. Clark, do you have any idea who Superman is? Shut up. God, I hated that version of Lois Lane. I liked when she started to become a badass. Bendis hasn't been doing that with her. Um, he's actually been making her just turn into an absolute B and not too bright either. You know, this, I don't know who's responsible for doing this version of Lois, but I really, really like this strong version of Lois that we've been used to seeing for years now, since, since, you know, mid to late eighties, late eighties more than anything else. But yeah, um, Lois is a badass and this is that version of her also. This was a really good comic book. Now, Brian Michael Bendis talked about how, oh, when you see what we're doing, you're going to apologize. Well, I'm not there yet. I hope he's not there yet because I'm not there yet. Um, I, this was an amazing issue. And if he was mostly responsible for this, hats off, brother. Hats off because you did a really good job. But it has undeniably been at the expense of the Superman and, Ma and Action Comics comic. I have never in my life thought about leaving uh any kind of a superman title never in my life have i thought i can't buy this comic book i 
I don't like it. No, it's like it's Superman. It's 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 a story. It's a Superman story. How the hell do you not read a Superman story? That's that's where I'm coming from. And and yeah, I've been thinking that lately. Just pull off the comic book because it's done. It's it's cooked. It's done. Turkey baster popped out, baby. We're done. Um, uh, the turkey oven thing, temperature gauge. Anyway, the baster is the you put the gravy on. You know what I'm saying? All right. But this. God, I missed I missed getting a good Superman story, man. I've missed having a good Lois Lane story. You know what I'm saying? Uh, this was good though. This is really good. And if the Jimmy Olsen story, I love that it's it's beyond Olsen. Look at it. It looks like O Olsen, right? Like it's O Olsen. No, no, no. Look at it closely. It's the infinity symbol. So beyond Olsen, right? Love that. That is cool. I noticed that. I got gotcha. you. Um, I'm I'm looking forward to reading the the super the uh, the the Lois Lane, and the, that was always my real Superwoman. You know what I'm saying? Was was Lois Lane, uh, but the the Lois Lane and the Jimmy Olsen uh, stories, those those twelve issue limited series, I'm looking forward to reading them now, because of how they were portrayed in here. Really top notch, good stuff. All right, guys. Definitely, definitely consider spending the 10 bucks, man, because this was good. Uh, not a lot of DC books out this week, but pretty much all of them are good. <laughs> anyway, guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, class dismissed.